Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Monet here. So it's my first weekly vlog and I've been obsessed recently with watching long videos and kind of just like hanging out with my favorite YouTubers. So hopefully this is the type of video that you like to watch um, because I had a lot of fun filming it. But I'm really excited for you guys to come along with me this week. A lot of behind the scenes of like nursing school. It's really like my low-key secret Hannah Montana life. <laughs> we hit the mall with my family. A really fun, chaotic day. <laughs> I take you along with me to school, clinical, and then we also make a 24-hour debut in New York. So a lot of shit was going on this week. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. I hope you stay a while. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see some more. Let me know if this is your vibe video. Without further ado, let's get into the week. <laughs> hey guys. Can we actually talk about my looks first? I'm keeping this vlog real. I'm keeping this vlog real. This is how the fuck I wake up every morning. I don't know what happened last night. I was fighting the demons. All my pillows are off my bed. <laughs> The sheets are like off my bed. My back fucking hurts. My head hurts. Like, I don't know what. I don't know what I was going through last night in my sleep. <laughs> like, <laughs> my fucking hair is like gone. Okay. And yeah, today is Thursday, October 14th. For today's schedule, we have the COVID. We have a COVID test. So I can return to clinical. We all are required to get one. Um, then I want to go to Plato's Closet. I have three full bags. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw... Oh, let me not show my ass cheeks. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did a big closet clean out. Huge, 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 huge purge. So my room is kind of tiny. Um, and I do have these two closets. I have this one and this one. But obviously this one's for my desk. And this one's all my beauty stuff. Like, I don't have enough room in this little apartment. So my mom graciously gave me the second closet this would have been for storage and stuff like that it's actually very clean even though you see these trash bags these are all going to this is what's going to plato's closet child so all these are going i actually bought a clothing rack which i think i'm going to feature in the background of like some of my videos because i think it's just a vibe to see a clothing rack i also bought this whole thing to hold my shoes which is very convenient because my shoes were all on the floor before i packed all my summer stuff away like all my hoodies down here and then i put all my go-to shoes or big shoes here, gym stuff, and then I have extra storage up here. So we're going to Play-Doh's closet to donate those clothes. I was going to do Depop. I can't imagine having to go and like ship everything. Like we get, I get one order for one shirt and I have to pack it up, write a shipping label, label print it, go to the store, ship it, like, and pay for shipping. Oh, hell no. I just like was like, mm, not my vibe. I don't have enough time in the day. You might see the boxes right here. The one on the bottom is filled with my childhood t-shirts from softball and like all my high school like memorabilia t-shirts that I don't wear anymore. You know, we all got those from like dance class and like chorus and like things like that. I don't wear them anymore and they're taking up so much space. I'm just trying to consolidate everything. So I cut them all up. And I'm getting them made into a blanket. So they're all cut already. They made me cut them. How are y'all liking this look? Is this just too much right now? Should I have brushed my teeth and stuff? Nah, I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it real. But, I got my coffee, I got my spooky coffee. Oh my god, I'm wearing a shirt that says boo, and then this says boo. You know, I'm giving ghost energy. But I think I would be a skeleton. I like skeletons over ghost, and definitely over pumpkin. No, I like pumpkins, but like for the spooky vibes, I'm definitely like ghost. No, skeleton. Oh, anyway. work for no reason. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Goddamn. All right, let me figure out how I feel right now. That right side was itching and awkward. I like really had to report it for you guys. But she's like, okay, open the thing. And I'm like, wait, sorry, I need to prop up my phone. <laughs> okay. Step one, done. Isn't it the best feeling when you get shit done? COVID test done. Love that for me. Now I think I'm gonna head to the post office. Yes. Don't you love when like life just goes easy like that? Y'all, that was literally five minutes. He was so freaking nice. He's like, you're doing a great job. I was like, this is my first time. So uh, I think I'm here just to print. And then like, I don't know, I had two things I needed to print and like, he just took care of it and was so sweet. Now this road is really hard to get out of. I think I'm gonna go right. Oof, going left would be easier. I'm scared. Actually, no. Oh, I think I'm good. Okay, after this car, I'm good. Move. Yes, quick, Monet. <gasps> <laughs> Y'all, my car be loud as hell too. Like, I know you hear my engine trying it. This lighting is horrid. Success, check it off the list, bitch. Like, we are taking down our to-do list. I fucking love it. I love it. So now we're on our way to Plato's Closet. I think this one is gonna take the longest. I'm pretty sure we'll be in there for like a fucking hour, I swear. Cause we have three big ass bags and they have to like look at everything. I'm pretty sure just like tally everything and like, it's a lot of stuff. So I brought a banana and some like trail mix <laughs> if I get hungry because it's like 1 p.m. and I didn't eat yet, so. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hell no. I haven't been there in so long. Well, actually, I'm lying. I haven't sold clothes there in so long. But child, the wait is three hours. I really thought I was gonna like go and like be the only one and like, who the fuck did I think I was? I'm crazy, y'all. I have to wait for them to text me. It should be about three hours. Damn, I'm like so shook. So here I am, five hours later. Mom's coming home with my Play-Doh's closet stuff. Hey. <laughs> do you have my Play-Doh stuff? I do, honey, but it's in the car. Why? Three bags. I what? I told you, babe. They took like five or six items. Are you fucking kidding? Do you want me to tell you how much you got? Oh my fucking god, you're lying. Twelve dollars. Nineteen. I was like, yeah, I, I told her that's what happened to me before. Like, I literally brought all these fucking bags, and they took like. What? Yeah. Plato's closet is not like that. Why are they why are they acting like they're bougie or something? 19 bucks. I mean it wasn't for the money. I wanted them to take the clothes off my hands. Guys, not my see, I thought I was being humble. Saying $50, $75. I had a lot of cute fucking stuff. Uh now the question is what do I do with these clothes? I might bring it to my friend's house and just like let them pick. I like to do that. I, 
all the extra makeup that I get that's too light for me or like I already have or like don't like the shades I'm never gonna wear it or some type of thing I'll bring to my friends and I'm like free reign pick whatever you want <laughs> This video is definitely already up by the time you're seeing this vlog, so let me know what you thought about the first impressions video. I felt like I was giving low energy, but like, you know, we can have a chill vibe, like I said, so. Basically, I'm just going to finish editing this. I think I'm going to finish editing my nurse TikTok video, and I definitely should have done it for YouTube because I'm definitely going to do another one for YouTube about nursing. So basically, I'm, I'm good for tonight. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to crawl in bed like, oh, I can't wait to do that. I really feel the need to show you what I look like in the morning. Whoa, this one's bad. That's why. This one's bad. What is that? Honey, what happened? What's not clicking, Steven? What the? First of all, this light is not doing it. Hold up. Morning. It's Friday. <laughs> Should I fix my hair or keep it real? I don't know why I really want to keep the vibe of this vlog, I think like my thing is gonna be just keeping it real. Because social media really makes you feel like everything's perfect. And like, it's just not. I pray that y'all can hear that mother f outside. And I have my window cracked because you know it's fall, I want the breeze to come in, you know, we enjoying the weather. And I'm like, oh, okay, they're mowing the lawn because they'd love to do that too. They'd be riding back and forth just by my window. Just by my window. And they're just like, mm, let me just make sure the grass is perfect. No. I definitely need a self-care night, which I'll just take you on tonight because it's exciting. And no, it's not really, but it's exciting for me because I feel like I definitely need it. My mustache is like super dark. My brows really need some grooming. Um... I'm gonna do a face mask probably do like a, i'm gonna wax my armpits i'm gonna do just a whole self-care i'm gonna put my nails back on because two of them are missing <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna straighten my hair like we're gonna look good later see this is how we're living right now but we're gonna look cute tomorrow it's like it when you feel good you look good vice versa and i don't think you'll understand how happy i am to be done right now like oh, I can actually relax it's Friday night so I love to spend it new h3 podcast it is 6 30 I just had dinner um the vibes are good we got some candles lit um mom and Gabriel are watching a movie I got some packages I want to show you I just want to open together now listen I just ate and I'm wearing a tight shirt and these tight ass sweat leggings like, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> so I got this one from Boohoo. This is gonna bother me. This is gonna bother me. I'm all about colors. I just need it to be like, I like a plain background. This from Boohoo, they wanted to send me some stuff for Halloween. But let me not lie, their selection was So I just picked a bunch of cute stuff. I've never ordered from there before. Oh shoot, I really bought some wild stuff because I was like, there's nothing that I really like, so let me just pick stuff that like I wanna see. Am I gonna have to try these on for you guys? Holy shit, this is a full leopard one piece. What the fuck am I doing with this? But honestly, it's kind of fire. I'm gonna have to try these on for you, huh? So I think I'm actually going to try my editing skills. I'm going to do an A roll and a B roll, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to open everything now and then I'll try everything on and then just edit it over because I'm literally that bitch. You're probably seeing it right now over my voice. What's up? What's up, y'all? <laughs> so that's our first item. Yo, that's funny as hell. Oh, I knew I had to get some leather stuff because... Oh, period. And I think this is in a medium. Oh, there's no zipper or nothing. I just have to finesse my way in here oof and it smells like kujiana whoa that smells like kujiana out of this world you know like when you get leather from like shein or like fast fashion it smells like fish as 
Wow. That's the strongest I think I've ever smelled like Gucci in my life. And here we go. Another leather piece. I think this is a dress. <sighs> Love you. Smell it. Fish? <laughs> oh, sh Ew. Isn't that the coochiest thing you ever smelled in your oh life? Oh my gosh. Like, that is the coochiest. That's like old Mac. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> real. Like, I want to try it on, but like. It's plastic. What is the reason for that, though? Oh, and it's oily. Sorry, this is a roasting ass, but this is an honest <laughs> unboxing. I'm not contracted or anything, so. They're not gonna sue me. This was just a gifting opportunity. But um wow. So it's just it's just sticky. Like there's literally residue on my hands. This is a leather dress. <sighs> I'm showering after this. I'm showering after this. Yo. Boohoo, don't watch this, please. Okay, see, because I had to get some cute stuff just for Oh, like, see, does it smell like Gucci? No, I'm putting this on. I wanted to open these before I did my advent calendar, actually, so I could put on like a little spooky shirt. Yes, this is something I'm excited for too. Like, little things like this, I like. Just simple. Not like I'm gonna make a whole Halloween costume out of it, but like stuff like this so cute because like for tiktoks this is good because i'll just film like um a spooky season makeup tutorial and i'll just be wearing a shirt like this but like i probably wouldn't wear it out or like no i probably will i like that shirt okay i like lace see-through mesh moments okay so next we got the cheeto version i said cheeto did i just say that oh this is a little dress sexy little cheetah dress slip so i don't know what i'd wear under this i'm sure you're seeing it right now in the little b-roll you know what i'm saying because i'm just a master editor i really like this shirt and i kind of like my hair like this today just because i feel like i've been balding lately <laughs> and you know i really like youtube because i feel like i can be myself and it's a safe space like with tiktok you never know what's gonna go viral and like who's gonna see you and judge you but youtube is like only real ones will click on the video and actually watch this far so i'm like you love me oh this one feels really soft this one feels big this is what i like this is my vibe like this is what i wear to sleep this is what i wear to sleep so it's really heavy it has nice movement let me tell you so i got this one ah! <laughs> let me show you and you probably saw them in the morning clip of the vlog but like this is the vibe that i like to wear to sleep so i got like the big happy halloween shirt I got them right here because I just keep them conveniently. This shirt I got from Spirit Halloween like two years ago and I still wear it every Halloween for like the whole month of October. And then we got this one that says boo, you know. I have some more in the drawer. I have one that's like, I've got your back. It's like the spine. It's like two skeletons. They're like, like I said earlier in this vlog, I'm definitely a skeleton over a ghost, you know. Next we have some clothes from Vivacious. Oh, look how cute this little note is. Monet, so excited to be sending you these pieces. Hope you love them. Thanks, so. Okay. So first up, I don't think I picked this one. Yeah, I definitely didn't pick this one because it's... I don't like asymmetry. But maybe this will be a vibe. This is definitely my summer vibe. I'm not on my color vibe right now, especially yellow. But this is a good staple. The quality looks good. Mmm. That's a good one. Oh, shoot. They did send this one. Look at this. Wait, look how little the legs look. <laughs> it's like a scoop, a brown scoop neck. Damn, this is just my skin color, so... I don't think I'm gonna wear this one. Yo, I'm being a hater as fuck, but like... It... I stray away from browns like this color. I think it was just misleading because it was a white girl wearing it. So it just looked really cute on her, but I, I should have thought that's on me. Maybe I can layer this though. This would be really cute layered, but it just really looks like I'm naked. I swear. If, I, if I'm trying this on the B-roll right now, <laughs> you know I look naked. Okay. So 
I actually tried to order like the sweatsuits, but they just sent over the hoodie. This is cute though. A little crop zip moment. Cause I'd be throwing these on. So out of everything I just got, I think this and this and the other sleep shirt is gonna get the most wear. <laughs> um, thank you to the br two brands if you're watching for sending me stuff, I appreciate it. You know, you're getting some exposure right here. Exposure is exposure, you know? Which I'm just vibing so hard right now, but I wanna show you. Taking the Olga Lorenzen. I love this brand. This is a detox facial in a box. Never used this before. They sent me the red carpet facial in a box. And honestly, this one made me a little nervous because it's deep detox facial. And I was like, I don't want to peel. Am I going to peel? But it says the only side effect is loving your skin. <laughs> so this first one is a peel. Maybe I shouldn't do like... Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't try some new things on my skin right now. I'm regretting this. See, I'm starting to tingle. <laughs> Don't be panicking for you. Okay. It says 30 seconds to 3 minutes. It's tingling. I'm not here for this right now. I don't really want this right now. I'm scared. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> okay, so this is up to the neutralizer. Damn, all these are kind of tingly. Why is this one called the neutralizer and it's tingly? That's the red light therapy. Um, so this is what we got. This is the GG waxing starter kit. We got it on Amazon. Yes, follicles. <laughs> oh, that gave me pleasure. Why did you just rip it like that? That was funny. You remind me, I don't know why, you remind me of someone from The Grinch when he just did that. I don't know why. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Good vibes, good vibes. It's sunny out. Apparently it's supposed to rain later. Hopefully not, because I have things to do. I have to film um, a transition video for Steve Madden. And it's outside, and I'm supposed to be like, if you saw the one of me in New York, you know, like the little transition moment. So I'm going to do one of those for Steve Madden. Oh, speaking of, how about we try the shoes on because I don't know if they actually fit. Well, they they should. So this is the box. These shoes are stunning, y'all. Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm packing these to go. I'm definitely not wearing these to the mall because that would just be crazy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. These are fucking hot. This is what we're working with. As you can see, look how pretty and dainty the heel is. It's giving me off white vibes. And it has a grip, which is like amazing. And I kind of like them a little rough, ruffled. So, with the short dress, this is gonna look hot. What do you guys think? So I'm basically gonna do my makeup now. And I'm actually really excited to do my makeup today because honestly, whenever I do my makeup, I'm usually filming for TikTok or like a tutorial or something. And like, I'm always filming. So I'm actually just gonna play some music and do my makeup. I'm also waiting for spring to drop off the breast cancer leggings because I'm gonna support her and her foundation, Inspiring Life Together, ILT, to support breast cancer. She's a survivor herself, so like, absolutely amazing so i can't wait to you know promote her stuff and help her out i also actually have a package let's open this really quick i can't show you this stuff <laughs> it's for a campaign this shirt or this one i like that one this one should i put a bra on yes a little something my boobs i just don't wear a bra like this shirt is kind of the way it's angled right now it makes them look <laughs> oh, you like, you like lift him up. Come on. Yeah. Dang. Mom called me saggy titty. <laughs> Can't see me like this. I'm actually doing a vlog right now. Say hey, fam. 
Hi. Um, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. No, you're so cute. I got this. This is like shopping. No. Andal's so cute. <laughs> He's a New Yorker. I, I, I thought about that. Yeah. Who knows? Wow, look at the difference. Yeah. That's amazing. What a bra can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're made for. Yeah. Andal, you wear a bra? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't wear a bra. Unless I need to. Yeah. I mean, I, I have yeah, like some relaxed glasses. ones that I use at work. Like, this is a relaxed one. Oh, yeah. See, I don't like the, the, pa like, the extra yep. padding. I'm yep, yep. Because I'm always covering it. Just okay. Fat. Okay. Let's go. And what? My shoes are on. The fit is on. Like, the makeup is slain. Oh. What? We're out. We're out. We ready. So, this is the look for today. We're going for casual desert vibes. <laughs> now we're gonna go pick up Reefy from the Philly train station and then go spend some money. Home sweet Philadelphia. Look at that. Hey girl. Hey, so this, this is behind the scenes. We're gonna get this transition together right now because mm -hmm. you just can't miss out on that. It's Look at that. It's such good lighting. I, I was made for this moment. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> All right, girlfriend got a fit change. Look at that. Gorgeous. OMG. Like, that's my baby. I see you. Outside lane. Yeah, I see you. Where? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Can't miss that. See, he really comes battle of the vlogs every time. You can't miss that. <laughs> what up? Hi, Rafi. Hi. If y'all don't hang up the FaceTime. <laughs> oh, there she is. Look at me extra right now. <laughs> so much. Hi, Rafi. Okay, Miss Kardashian Jr. I literally said, here's Kim. <laughs> Yo, bro. What's going on? Love the reunion. Yeah. And then you always get a good reunion moment. Beefy. Hmm? Why are you beefing with me? I'm not beefing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my eyeballs are dry. I'm trying to picture I'm just that. Giving you you know? To decompress. I'm decompressed. <laughs> okay. She's quiet. Yeah, she let that beef go. <laughs> Yo, I got riled up. My God. Because it was too much going on. Yes. <laughs> But like, y'all need to pick up for me when I'm lacking. Yeah, Monet, well, there's no stopping you when you're like that. Yeah, but then- I thought we were, <laughs> I thought we were supportive. Like we weren't no, yeah. about anything. Like, I'm not talking about that. Know. I'm talking about like afterwards, if I'm, if I'm gonna be quiet. I don't want the whole car to be quiet. Well, you see what I tried to do. <laughs> you did great, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Mom, I don't know why my anxiety is like so freaking bad. I have like three anxiety attacks already. Whole squad is feasting. So, just gotta wait for my time to shine. Bye! Bye. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Yeah! <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Thank you! Alright, y'all, we're out of here, Sephora. That was too much. <laughs> I realized I didn't show you guys the mall at all. I just made my little phone. But that was funny. One of the girls goes to Rutgers, Camden, and is in my grade. And I was like, hey. So she was really cute. Thanks for waiting. We're going to go to Zara now. I had to get two KVD lip liners. Oh my god, airy. I will blow a bag in here. I need me that little fuzzy flannel. We out here in Zara. The damage is being did. Reefy got some good picks. Show your little selection. Look at the, the colorways. Yeah. We got some shoes because we twin them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. You know, you know I'm gonna do a try on haul when I get home. Um, damage is about to be done. I'm guessing like three, no, 220. 
for my hand right now. This one flannel is like 90. But it's gonna be a staple. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah. Good? Oh yeah. <laughs> This is our benefactor. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. liking this. Miss Money Stacks over here. Did you get anything on them? No, in here? not in. Yeah, we were trying to flannels on downstairs, but they were just swallowing on the uh, <laughs> extra small. Wait, but you, you still want to check out the stores next door, right? Yeah. yeah. The one you said yeah. you like? I said H&M has some good like little staples and like, um, if there's a cotton on here, you know it's a good one. Say bye to the vlog. Bye vlog. Oh, See you guys it's soon. It's always a pleasure. Until next time. That's my vlog. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Today was a long day, but it it was a good day. Man, I had a rough start, didn't I? I don't know what happened, y'all. But I'm gonna be honest, like I I think looking back, it was just like anxiety and just like a panic attack and just like all my nerves were just shot and I just couldn't shake it at the beginning of the day and like it's rare that shit like that happens but like listen we all go through shit and it's okay not normally I wouldn't show normally someone making a YouTube vlog or showing their life or displaying their their world to other people wouldn't show things like that because it makes you vulnerable and it makes I just want to make it more normal because we all go through shit and part of me is like, no, let me just like crop it out. I can just like, no, but like, it's okay. You know, my family loves me and they try their best to understand me and I do the same and can't always explain why we react the way we do sometimes. But I think just being on the street and it was just a lot going on. So basically I had the Steve Madden content I had to film and I'll probably put it in right now because it's probably already up and live and everything. to film that and we were we end up being at Drexel campus like the big college in Philly because it was next to 30th station before I picked up briefy so I was like let me just film the transition right now so I like got changed in the middle of Drexel campus and like it was popping all the college students were walking around and I was just like oh my gosh and like Gabriel wasn't really getting my vision and I was just like oh all these people are staring at me and like I was trying to explain it to Gabriel and I was like, no, just hold the camera like this. And I just like was super anxious and just like, I felt like everyone was watching me and it was just like, you know when like your mind just starts racing like that? I was just like anxious. And I didn't like how it was turning out. And then Reefy called and said he was at the train station. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, now we're rushing. Like, do I continue to do this? Do I change my outfit? Do I end right now? Like, do I just wait? Do I just, and part of me was just like, why did I do this right now? Like, why did I do this? 
<laughs> you know when shit just starts fucking it was just too much so we get in the car we drive to the station then we find reefy and i was like all right maybe we can do it here just because like i like when reefy takes my videos and we can just get it out of the way so then we try to do it at the station and i was just already shot and on top of that so many people were there and it was just oh my gosh my anxiety was just so bad and you know like you just get depleted after you're just like okay let me bring it down let me bring it back to her so I took the car ride to get that out of my system then we get to the mall and we get to the wrong freaking food court like and I was starving it was like 3 p.m I didn't eat yet that day like and you know when you get a little hangry and shit like that so anyway I was damn starved and I had to watch everyone eat you probably saw that clip but anyway the day went on it was it was a good day it was funny it was really good you know as long as you have support and them to have your back i'm talking too long <sighs> i'm happy to be home right now i thought reefy was staying the night i thought we were gonna just have a little sleepover and like paint each other's nails <laughs> i'm exhausted i'm mentally and physically exhausted <laughs> from today you know we don't always have perfect days but that's how life goes y'all you can't expect to be perfect all the time, you know? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey besties. Good morning. It's Sunday. Um, so I'm watching Meg the Stallion on Hot Ones. Love my fellow Aquarius baddie. I actually had a really good sleep because I felt like shit last night. <laughs> And I feel rested. I had a crazy fucking dream. I was best friends with Kylie Jenner. Oh my god, it was so crazy. It was like Halloween and she was like telling me all the secrets about her looks and shit. So you know, I was vibing. <laughs> right now, I'm just looking at my agenda. If you guys are curious, I usually like a smaller book, but I ordered this on Amazon and it came big as fuck. Like usually I get an agenda that's like this size. I love that little thing because I'm just like, this is a little too big. But you know, honestly, I like the extra space, you know, just so... This is what it looks like. This is for the past week that we just had. Just in case anyone's curious, I think I'm going to make like a studying type, like organization type video. I like to do ch box and checks because that makes me feel really satisfied when I'm like, did it. So I'm just going to go ahead and plan next week. This is what I already like rough sketched that I knew that I was doing this past week. So I definitely need to fill in New York for Wednesday. So anyway, just in case you're curious, that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to clean my room and then maybe film the try on haul um but i feel like if i do that then i'm gonna feel distracted and like not want to study so i don't know if i want to study first but i definitely want to try this shit on because like i just want to do what makes me happy <laughs> uh me like validating not studying hey vloggy vlog i just filmed the tiktok try on haul it actually is really cute i like the angle that i filmed it at. i'll probably insert it right here so um some damage was done at zara and did i really go shopping unless i show you everything i got so let's do a little try on haul like styling type video because i'm feeling it today okay this shirt is actually the moves though it's giving like i just cut my wedding dress and like made it casual i'm gonna make it fit okay so i paired it with these jeans and then i was thinking these shoes okay my favorite purchase from zara look at this fucking flannel is this a vibe I don't think I like this fit. I think I'm gonna try again. I actually got these heels from Steve Madden. Look how beautiful these are like. These pants are also from Zara. Okay, this fit is not that bad. I wish you could see the heels more because they're just really the main character. They're so freaking pretty. I mean, how many more times can I style this shirt? Okay, love. These are kind of flattering. They're kind of cute. I like the length of these shorts too, and they're also ribbed. This top is from Meshki. And this is the main character. I love me a bucket hat. Oh my God, the echo in here. I'm like, hello. <laughs> I got a big ass head. I got a big ass head. Like I cannot find hats that fit me. So okay, Zara for having sizing, but let me cut the tags off because I'm like scared of commitment. I'd be keeping the tags on like just in case. We committing. I also got this really dark chocolate brown. It really almost looks black. This is from the Zara men's section, but this looks cute with this too. All right, we're taking the tags off growth i got some shades from dick sporting goods listen i don't want to hear it about my dad's shades i like them like these ones are dope you're lying if you say they're not who's dad who's dad
Vibes is this dress gave me. I can't explain it, but I like it. I feel like I'm comfortable. I feel like it's modest and cute and like I need some more stuff like that because I be getting hoochie stuff like I can't actually wear. I got this jacket. I just I feel like layering different shades of a color is so pretty like <gasps> not saying I would pair these boots. Oh hell no nah, this is just not a look together. Is it? Nah. Okay, but with this bag, I'd definitely wear these shoes. We're giving like Sherlock Holmes, we're giving Slytherin, we're giving like some investigation. <laughs> I don't know if I'd necessarily wear this. You get the vision, these are good pieces in general. I also wanted to show you these leggings and shout out Inspiring Life Together because it's a breast cancer organization founded by one of my friends, Spring, who is a breast cancer survivor. So if y'all wanna support and show your love, it's in my bio, they're nonprofit, and you can get some cute leggings and support a good cause. Let's get into it. We're doing complex health, which basically this test is on pre-op, oxygen therapy, respiratory, and endocrine. Endocrine is always so freaking boring. If you guys are in nursing school, you know, there's always that one subject you just can't, like endocrine is just, uh, thyroid, okay. Adrenal glands, okay. I'm dead ass thinking like, what am I filming? Am I filming the rest of the day? Good morning, I don't know why the fuck I'm awake this morning like this, in a, in a good mood. Um, but you know, it's Monday. I have in-person class Monday and Tuesday and online class every other Thursday, so. These are the only two days I have to go in person. Um, not my favorite days of the week, but okay. So I'm on my way to school right now and I actually had some close friends since freshman year of college and y'all, I don't know what happened. So I'm just hoping that there's enough space for me and my two new friends to like sit together somewhere else in both classes and hopefully it's just not weird hopefully I can just dodge the bullets and then like find a new routine so I don't have to deal with this fucking energy anymore because I should not be stressing about going to fucking school I come here twice a week and like this is such a small part of my life is like them at this point so why are you stressing me the fuck out like this okay so I just finished my first class that's like and we're in the nursing building now it's so quiet in here. But my first class gave me so much anxiety for no reason. Oh my god. Not her being on the same floor. <laughs> so, um, that's funny. The teacher from my first period, though, she is so aggressive for no reason, made us present. She's like, I know you guys have a test today, but, um, you need to know this stuff. So I'm gonna give you the hardest class ever and make you participate in all this stuff. We're studying for the next test now. And I mean, hopefully she doesn't teach after so we can just go the fuck home. Yeah. You know, the views. Oh, shit. Because we move them up in the bed. Like Chow, what time is it now? Like 9 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the lock screen, you know what I'm saying? I've been playing around with the snap feed effects this is double exposure you know a little two peep moment 
Love that picture. Anyway, it's 9 p.m. Your guru was hustling, so. And I just opened up this package. I wish I just saved it for you guys. I forgot I was vlogging for a second. This is Lily, Liliana Naturals. I love that name. Like, if Liliana, Liliana, so pretty. So how cute is this little note? Hey, Monet. So yeah, they sent a really cute note and look at the packaging. Do you know why I, when I saw their email and I saw the packaging, that's how I knew what brand this was because Bailey Sarian was using their retinol cream and I was like, this packaging is like impressionable. It reminds me of, um, is it Ed Hardy? It's not even Ed Hardy. It reminds me of like some kind of like Dia de los Muertos or like some kind of, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited for this toner because first of all, the size, baby, the size. I'm excited to see what the packaging looks like. Let's just open it now, actually. I was going to do it for Instagram stories, but I'm sure you guys will appreciate it too. Even the inside of the packaging is done, period. Okay, not what I was expecting. A spray toner, vitamin C face toner spray. I'm down for a spray toner. You know I'm going to try it actually right now. Hydrating and resurfacing spray. Vitamin C, grapefruit, citrus extracts, glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid, and green tea. What? Liliana, stop playing with me right now. Really light smell. Clean, vegan, cruelty-free, period. Made in the U.S. Love that. Brighten skin. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Ciao. That is a direct... <laughs> Not me thinking it was a mist. Like, whoa, that's probably amazing for the morning. Like, wake the fuck up, bitch. Okay. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> then we got an uh, anti-aging eye cream. I just put eye cream on, so it's going to be too much anyway. And it's this fat little pump. Like, it reminds me of, like, a stink bug. I don't know why. <laughs> a stink bug, Monet. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. I just want to see what we're working with. Okay, it's light. Not really a fan. Actually, it smells like real green tea. That's the thing. Is this green tea in here? Rose hip and hibiscus. I feel good. I feel accomplished right now. I'm glad that I t checked my boxes. You know what I'm saying? All right, good night. Good morning. It's Tuesday, and I was just thinking in the bathroom, just washing my face, brushing my teeth, you know, waking up and stuff. I think, I think I'm going to do like, I think I'm going to try to do a weekly vlog every week. Right now, I don't know why I'm feeling inspired and like, the next couple of weeks are just busy, so I'm like, I feel like it'd be entertaining. I'm taking this toner because I'm going to see if it wakes me up. Is that out of focus? <sighs> it's actually 11 a.m. right now, but I've been up since 8.45. For some reason, my body woke up. I actually been going to sleep a little early. Like, I put my phone up at like 10.30. What? So, you know, I've been trying to catch up on the Z's and just get ready for the day. I think I'm just gonna take y'all along for next week because it's Halloween we got three looks <laughs> I feel like that'd be fun and then my haircut and stuff like that so I actually was texting Jamie last night my friend that I met if you guys watch my NARS vlog I uh, love Jamie we're gonna meet up for the Avon again event tomorrow together so I'm excited for that so you guys will see Jamie and then we're gonna get dinner after so it's gonna be so cute. But yeah. I'm gonna be late <laughs> again. I don't know what it is about this class. It literally 
we have to meet at 1.30 p.m., but it's down the shore in Atlantic City. Um, so it's like a 45 minute drive and I just, I always feel like I have more time than I do. And honestly, I should already be in the car on the way, but here I am vlogging and combing my hair, but I just finished all of my homework, all of the due assignments this week. So basically I can relax for the rest of the week. Relax. I just need to study. Which is like so annoying because it's like not really work you need to do but like you need to do it which is just fucking annoying so anyway that's all i have to do for the weekend which is litty litty and today i'm just gonna bust out a little slick ponytail moment because gotta keep it casual for the patients so i'm going to clinical i don't know if you got i told you guys like what that is but in nursing school clinical is when you go to a hospital and like shadow a nurse and learn as much as you can like in the hospital and basically just train. We're not really allowed to do a lot of things, but the nurses let us do like med passes, which is like probably the best thing to learn because I'm so scared of it. I don't know why like medication is just like, bro, you're responsible for that person's fucking life and reaction and like the dosage and like all those things. And although we're not prescribing medications, like we're administering them. So we have to make sure like it's the right route, the right patient, right time, right dose, all that stuff. So it's cool to see. So far I've had really good nurses, um, which is all I ask for. All I ask is for someone who wants to fucking teach me and who is patient and kind. Yes, I use a toothbrush to lay my edges because it works. Whew. So it's it's required that we're there for seven hours so it's basically like a whole fucking shift <laughs> um and if you guys watched my tea about working in a hospital video it's basically the same jobs that we have to do like at the hospital the same like requirements so i'm really glad that i did that job because now i feel more prepared but i'm running late I'm gonna hairspray this because it always falls out for some reason. And actually this hairspray doesn't even work like that. This one is really pretty for like when you curl your hair, but it doesn't keep anything in, in place like you need it to. So I'm gonna take this Pantene 4 Stronghold one. I need to go. Hey Bailey. Oh, you can see me in the mirror? <laughs> hey. So I realize that socks are actually really important, like having comfy socks, y'all. Like, I don't, uh, it's, oh, fuck, I gotta take my nails off. Fuck. Fuck, I knew I was forgetting something. Um, but I got these fresh-ass Nike shoes, you know, because I gotta be pimping in the scrubs, gotta match. Wait, I gotta put my pants on first. Wait, vlogging is making me feel like, oh my god, I'm forgetting everything. But I'm putting leggings under my scrubs today because it was chilly willy this morning. And I was trying to find a black long sleeve shirt, but I couldn't to wear under my scrub top, but this jacket is not warm. But hopefully the hospital is not that cold. And also, I have a hospital slash school perfume, and then I have like a going out perfume because I don't want to associate them together, which is funny. Where's my... Okay, so this is my going out perfume. I mean, my hospital school perfume. Cause you know, you gotta smell good, feel good, look good. You know my little motto. Dang, I'm like, I shouldn't be vlogging right now, but my bed is made, everything's clean. That's what I need, that's what makes me happy. So if I come home to a clean room, cause then I can actually relax. Do I bring my vlog camera with me? Should I bring it with me? All right, I'm gonna bring it. <clears throat> I'll definitely record on my phone. If anything there, damn, the kitchen's not clean. How does this happen every week? I don't understand. So I have this Jansport book bag that I bring and mom and Gabriel got me this little Jansport <laughs> lunch bag. It's so cute. So I already made my sandwich. I made this all when I ate lunch. So I just make the same thing for dinner just to keep it easy. Forgot my stethoscope in the room. I'm all over the place right now. This is what I get for vlogging, but like I can't stop right now. I'm gonna refill my water. Okay, we 
we wear these stethoscopes like we even use them. We don't. Um, and then I put my purse inside of my book bag and then like the stethoscope and then the water. Because we're basically there all day. I have a really cool teacher, which is dope as well. So that's all I, uh, that's all I need. The clinical instructor, I mean. So that's amazing. Amazing. I'm actually not gonna bring the camera. I'm gonna just vlog on my phone if I have anything else to say, but going to clinical now. Oh yeah, I'm on break now. It was kind of a crazy, <laughs> a really good like clinical day actually. I saw so many crazy things. I'll tell you after. Let me see. Oh my god. Come on. Uh, where? Yeah. Wait. No, I swear there. I have it's good okay. ones. I swear I have good ones. You probably do. Oh look, there's one right there. Maybe my hand. Oh there you go. Yeah. That's amazing. Ooh. Okay, so not to be corny, but <laughs> I really feel so good after a clinical. Like, I really like the little squad. Like, everyone's so freaking fun. Like, we all just have fun together. The teacher is freaking dope. I almost wanted to record her little post lecture because we'd be cracking on each other and, like, actually learning. And, like, she is a trauma ER nurse for the past, like, 20 years. So she just tells us the real tea and, like, what we really need to know and, like, what's important. And it's just, like, it's really fun. And we had a I had a really eventful day. Oh, let me put my lights on. Damn. I had a really eventful clinical. So I'll just tell you the highlights of it. So basically, we're on the floor. I got Caitlin, literally like my favorite nurse that I've been shadowing the past couple of weeks. She wasn't there last week, so I was like sick about it. But um, she actually, the first day, she was like, you look familiar. And I was like, oh my God, tell me this girl follows me on TikTok right now. And I was like, hee 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 hee. So then, <laughs> if you guys saw my nursing TikTok on TikTok, she commented on it and she was like, hey, did I teach you the first week of clinical? And I was like, oh my God, I was like, bro. So I saw her today after her comment and she was like, honesty. So I go by honesty, which is my first name, like for clinical and stuff. That's why she was confused. But she was like, dude, like I knew you looked familiar, but I didn't want to say it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so fucking funny. Like, what are the odds? But anyway, she is a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. I love her so such a good nurse such a good teacher very inspiring to me like she really just is inspirational so love her <laughs> and um so yeah I had her today right when I got there literally within like 10 minutes I saw my first seizure my first seizure and like those type of things really just like stop my breath like even on video and like just hearing of anyone having a seizure it's just horrible seizure strokes and heart attacks obviously are just like super intense so i saw this patient literally have a full fucking seizure so she was having like a mild seizure where her eyes were kind of twitching rolling around and she was like kind of jerk doing like jerky movements just like here and there she kind of wakes up from it and she's like man like my head hurts she's about like 28 years old but she looked like she was like 18 like she looked really young she had like some stuffed animals in the bed um younger white white girl so then she kind of like goes out of that she's like my head kind of hurts and then her eyes kind of roll to the back of her head and then she starts doing a grand mal seizure which is like basically the full convulsions that you like picture when you think of a seizure so she's in the bed like rattling 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 and like me and kelsey and my <laughs> classmate are just standing there like holy shit holy shit holy shit and we're just kind of just standing there my eyes are just like real big and the nurses are just like you're, it's basically, you just want to watch their airway. You're not supposed to restrict them. Seizure precautions, she had pads on the side of the bed. Um, you want to make sure you have suction available if you need it. Um, so basically, you're not really supposed to do anything besides administer, like, Ativan, I'm pretty sure it was, if they're, like, in status epileptic, epilepticus, which means, like, they're stuck in a seizure. But hers was, like, self-limiting, which means that it, like, stopped. So that was fucking crazy. Seeing my first seizure, I was like, wow so she comes out of it and she's like man my head feels like fuzzy and stuff like that so we saw a seizure i'm trying to keep this short and sweet which is freaking crazy and then <laughs> so i had a really sweet lady that really just like this is my first like real impressionable all right well the video cut off but i'm just gonna say that this lady was like my first impressionable patient she reminded me of my grandma she kept saying sweet baby oh that's what my grandma says to me <laughs> 
she was like, sweet baby, like, oh, thank you, baby. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. And like, just such a sweet little black lady. And she was so nice. And she was like, you guys are my daughters. Like, are you guys sisters? Like, she was just like, she was 94 years old, but she looked like she was like 50. Like, she was so healthy. She just looked, she looked healthy, as healthy as she could be. So this is my first time. Basically, we helped her out. We took her down to endo. She got an IV placed because her veins were kind of bugging. So she was really sweet, loved us, like really appreciated our help and stuff. And it just made me feel really good to take care of her. Um, but with the patients with Alzheimer's and dementia, if you guys don't know, there's like sundown, which when literally the sun goes down, they their symptoms are super heightened. So I experienced it the first time with her today and she just went from complete like day to night, I swear. Such a sweetheart, and I still think she is, but she, a whole new side kind of just like came out where she was just like, hello. Like, I can't believe you guys have been treating me like this, like leaving me here all day. Like, I've been asking for so long. You guys are standing outside just talking and like, no one's paying attention to me and no one's taking care of me all day. You guys have been treating me so bad. And they started talking about us, to us. And was like, the three ladies in here earlier, like they said they would be right back and they never came back. And like, we were just there and it just like fucking broke my heart. And like, I really was, I mean, the word depressed sounds dramatic, but like my mood was like really depressed after just like this whole experience because I was like damn like that was exhausting just to watch her and just like just it was just it just it really got to me it just made me feel so I just felt for her and I I understand like she's a human being and she has feelings and that's how that's really how she was feeling at that moment is that we weren't taking care of her and it just broke my heart and watching her just freaking sundown like that and it was my first time seeing it and I was like wow like she really had no recollection her dinner was right next to her completely eaten like she just finished eating her dinner and she was like I've been starving and you guys like I, I ordered dinner so long ago and like we're like you know miss girl your dinner is right here you just ate it <clears throat> so she kind of broke my heart at the end because I had a really good day with her and just to see it like flip like that she'll be better tomorrow it's basically just like I don't know if it's a daily thing I don't, I don't know um, she's 94 years old man and, and she just it's just it's just amazing <laughs> I, I had a really good day we had a good like post talk and everything so <sighs> I'm on my way home now so I'm gonna go home and like pick my outfits for tomorrow kind of like sketch everything out because we're going to freaking New York so <laughs> I have like an hour drive home now nah, it's like 45 minutes and yeah I was actually super fucking late <laughs> So let me not do that again. But yeah, I'm gonna drive home, listen to music, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday! Today's a fun day. Good vibes, I woke up early. As you can see, my hair is already diddly done. Uh, I, I, I haven't curled my hair in a while, and I don't know how I feel about it. I just can't wait to brush it out. Um, it's currently 10 a.m. And the event's at 7 p.m., so I'm just like, I want my hair to stay curly. Um, but when I curl it with this wand, these curls don't go anywhere. So I'm like, should I rush it out now? Because I want it to be relaxed curls. But I just don't want to be looking like this all day. So. You know, just clean the room. Gotta start off the day on a good foot. I'm looking in the closet now. For my fits for later. Mm -hmm. Mom's working from home. Hi. Hey. <laughs> this is the weekly vlog. This is going to be a fun one. Yeah. Like, excited. It's, it's Thursday to Thursday, so I think I'm gonna do it start for next week too because I want to see Christina on Friday. Uh -huh. I'm like, I want them to see Christina, and then Halloween is next week. I know that's so a I'm whole vlog in itself. That would be a fun one. Yeah. So I'm gonna make my coffee now. I think I'm gonna leave here at like 2 p.m. So I'm gonna just try to like film, pack, get myself ready, drive to the station, get my life together. I'm excited. <laughs> Apartment life. I can't wait to have my own place, which is crazy because I never really thought about it until like recently. Since I've been getting my own little bag, my own little money, and I'm like, dang, if I want to, I actually can afford a little apartment. But I'm gonna drink this coffee, hop on the call, I'm gonna film my stuff, and then I'll touch base probably after I'm done packing and stuff. I actually have some packages I wanna open. <laughs> okay, this package says it's from Steve Madden. I already got what I needed to get from them. So I'm curious to see what this is. I think they sent me two of the same shoe. Oh, 
Oh shit. They sent me two. I definitely don't need two of these pink babies. Okay, hey besties. I'm so proud of myself because I just edited the belief content that I filmed the other night. I delivered it, like I hit all the marks. I'm so happy about that. And then mom's talking on the phone. It's, I can't, my brain can't function like when two conversations are going on at once. I filmed the what am I wearing. I answered basically all my responsibility emails. That's one of the best things about management is that they answer majority of my emails, which literally takes so much off my plate. So I'm actually gonna bring a suitcase because it's just a lot more convenient than bringing a bunch of bags. I just feel like when you think of suitcase, you think of, oh my God, like, where are we going? Like, it, suitcases are just dramatic, but <laughs> it's like perfect amount of space for everything I need to bring. So I'm bringing makeup, like two outfits, and I'm actually gonna wear, this is for the brunch fit tomorrow, I decided. Um, and these boots are also for the brunch fit tomorrow, but they're so fucking big. I might as well just wear them right now. If you guys have watched any of my other New York vlogs, like the new glare one, you know I take the train. So I drive to the train, which is like 45 minutes. Then I take the train, which is an hour and a half. Then I take the subway, which is like 20 minutes. So it's like a long commute. So right now it's about 2 p.m. So we should get there at like 4.35. And then basically I'm just going to see Reefy for a little bit. I'm going to film a um, makeup therapy because I really love that series for me because I don't have to talk or anything. It's no pressure and I can just like relax and do my makeup and just film it. <laughs> and it's 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 a good one for me. So that's my nail. Let's figure it out. I already packed everything. Oh, I put my nails on. These are my press-ons. I put on a fresh set because why not? I don't know how I feel about the gold. It's a little, it's like really dramatic. I already packed up my jewelry and rings. Do I need anything else? We're at the Hamilton station. I'm literally the only one in this whole entire place. So I'm pretty sure the next train is at 320. I always be confusing myself. So New York, 320, track one. There's a train out here that looks just like the one I should be getting on, but it's on the opposite side of the tracks. So. Um probably gonna be starving by the time I get there. I was thinking like our dinner reservations are at 9.30, so probably need to get a snack in between, but I'm excited. Subway ride was the worst thing ever. I think my hair is like gone. Got two pizzas in Brooklyn. I just need a second. We touched down Yo. in Brooklyn. Bed study, right? Bed study? Bed sty. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that bad? I wasn't that far off. Um, Reapy's new room. I don't think we showed your old room on the YouTube channel. I don't think so. But he always got the match right. You already know. So we got some lights over here. You know what? I think I'm going to film makeup therapy. Did you ever see that on my TikTok? I have a few series that I do. Yeah. Makeup therapy is just silence. Amen. And I just do my makeup in silence. Nice. And it's very good for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that. I think it'll be a vibe. That would be nice for the background, huh? And I could just sit this one. Yeah, that's a good little vibe over there. And me and Reefy can talk and I can just like, yeah. So it is currently 6 p.m. on the dot, making good time, nice. making good time. So I basically have an hour to get ready and then I'm gonna call the Uber at like seven. Um, I just had a pizza and a half at that place in the corner. That was kind of busted. Only $2 a slice. It's called yeah. no pizza right off the sub. Yeah. It was pretty lit. It was so crowded, y'all. Like, those clips I put on the subway, I need to wash my hands and stop touching my face. Yeah. Cause like, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I could not breathe. I looked like a mess, but it's okay. We safe. We made it. 
probably need, I need a shower. I didn't even think of that. Like, my little stinky ass. I sweat through my whole shirt. What? But it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> so I'll probably insert some clips of me getting ready and stuff. And then I'll probably show you my fit before I go. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog when I'm there, but I'm gonna try my best, you already know. Yeah, and I mean, the lens is covered and protected. Reefy's setting up the projector right now, y'all, to give a vibey moment, cause you know he's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, sunlight, like it's literally 3 p.m. or whatever. <laughs> but we're taking some pics before we go. I like that light. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Is it giving? Is it giving? I don't know. Is no, it no. giving? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> I feel it. I like this light. Big period. It's warm. Let me put this down so I can oh. stunt. Ooh, that's cool. I like all the colors going on too. It's like blue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm exchange now. Hopefully one's not far away. Earlier it said it was like three minutes away. What? Ubers. Wait. Ubers at home. Sometimes like they're not available. Oh no, these in Jersey. be like. Pop in? Yeah. I just figured, yeah. Cause... Okay. Four minutes away, $30. Period. Cool. Come say hi to the vlog or bye to the vlog, Reefy. Actually, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. This is a weekly vlog. This is a vibe though. Okay. Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll probably see you guys in the Uber in five seconds because I'll be anxious and want to talk to the camera. So <laughs> bye. Stunning. So we're on the way now, guys. We'll be there. We'll be there in like 10 minutes. Jamie's a little bit behind me, so we'll put my herself off. I'm a little scared.
then we start strutting to like the restaurant. And she's like, and I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up. We're going to have to slow it down a little bit because, <laughs> and then I was like, is there any, like, I literally was like, is there anywhere I can get like socks or shoes <laughs> to wear, like to walk? And I, I literally was just thinking of you, Rufi. I was like, where, else, where am I walking? Because that's what you said. You're like, where are you walking? Yeah. Besides, like, to the place, to the restaurant, to the Uber. But, like, that was, it was literally <laughs> one step <laughs> too much. I was done. I was done. I was just thinking about my slides, like, and Jamie be bougie, too. So I don't want to be ghetto just walking on my bare feet. But, like, at that point, I did not care. No, you can't be mad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute and came fresh and mall. It wasn't. Oh my gosh, that. what is up with my feet? I got oh. bad feet. King of Prussia too. I was out here fussing. Yeah, my feet are it. bad. Crest. <laughs> Crest. It was more, so, honestly, no one will ever hit like you. And honestly, my standards are so high. That's why. <laughs> my standards are so high for me. I'm not even gassing you right now. <laughs> Like, Gabriel tried to get the Steve Madden moment, and I was just like, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I love you so much, but, like, I just need Reefy to do this. Well, okay, but... The first half. So it's from here to here. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? No, but that's, oh. like, that's like 10 pictures. You know me, I need, like, at least 300. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like... I don't even look at the pictures anymore. <laughs> I just be snapping. Like, right. like, <laughs> yeah. These are the ones I favorited. <laughs> No, I don't want no tarot. Are you about a tarot right now? This is the background. Reefy, put your anime back on. I want to see that. Not no tarot right now. I'm trying to go to bed. He's trying to scold me. Oh, well, you going to get this down low. <laughs> Good. Aries tarot. Aries tarot. Victoria. Aries tarot. Virgo. Venus and Aries tarot. Like. Look at Reefy's YouTube search. Like. He is just in the world. I'm trying to be on my path right now. Okay. Shit, I try to do it my way and that's in my way. Need some guidance in this life. Okay. Well, this one was great. It had me crying out of that so Oof. I don't need nothing emotional. I just want something like light. You only want light. Yeah, like like Nah, let me not embarrass myself, cause like honestly, I'm not educated in like anime. <laughs> or like Rick and Morty. I just need me some like it's not even anime, bro. But like when it comes to cartoons, I don't want to feel. Like, <laughs> I don't want to feel the emotions. I just want to, you know, that's kind of like detaching into like a. Alright, I got you. Fun reality. I want like a fun one. Is it like Pokemon? <laughs> That's fun. That's fun energy. <laughs> Pokemon is dark. The original. Pokemon is like, every episode is like, plot. <laughs> and then it's yes, like... Yes, plot. <laughs> it's like, plot, problem, solve. Amen. Period. Every episode, <laughs> so you feel anime. complete. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god, you're giving me anxiety right now. <laughs> 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 What about Yu-Gi-Oh? That was your shit, Riki. I just love Yu-Gi-Oh, but I can't watch it again. Because you know why. That's yeah. an investment. I like that, though. I don't like, no, like, the the new Netflix seasons that have, like, five episodes, and they're, like, an hour long. I'm like, I don't like that, because I, I want to get invested in the show and just, like, binge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, of it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I don't like to get invested and then just be done and have to wait, like, two years for the next season. I'm, like, How over it. Food. I trust you. It's not that deep. Like you could just throw good. something on. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I know I feel like I have something good. Okay, one second. Oh, wait. The camera is dead. My camera is busted. I forgot. We out here 20 minutes on the vlog. <laughs> Bye. Good night, y'all. There goes me. Yeah. <laughs> you always be on my notes. Um. Uh, you better watch the weekly vlog that's coming up. I think I'm gonna start doing the Sunday schedule. Like having a schedule. Because yeah. I really appreciate that from my YouTubers. Like I get excited for Monday. Yeah. Like Bailey's about to drop her video on Monday. Cool. And then like Sunday, like my other YouTubers upload and like Friday, like it's exciting. So I think I'm gonna do like a Sunday upload, but it makes me nervous that I actually have to do it, you know?
because it's hard sometimes it's like the youtube one the youtube is like if i have time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and like if i have good content Reefy's gonna give you that Reefy's gonna give you guys his try on now <laughs> um from our zara trip on saturday i know y'all remember that hectic day <laughs> sponsored by ando sponsored by ando Oh, you know, I wanted to get to um, like the backstory of Andal's name in the vlog. I wanted to ask her. Uh, yeah. 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 But her name's Norma. But we call her Andal because Reefy's name is Alexander, but in Spanish it's Alejandro. Right? And when he was little, he couldn't say it. So he'd just be like, Andal. <laughs> and somehow she got the name. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, that's fresh. <gasps> Okay, Zara Fit. I love that one. It's very cozy. See? I love this um, ashy brown color. Yes. Um, it feels like cashmere, but I don't think it's cashmere, so. <laughs> Yo, that looks so good. It fits good. I'll be wearing that every day. It's nice. It's like I can get my work done. I can walk to the bodega. I love that, Reefy. Boom. I love Look that. One. Period. Uh, I love that. He ate or whatever. Y'all, someone commented on my TikTok <laughs> and said, thank you for proudly showing a square body. You told me like five seconds ago. I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you were crying because I was, it's just funny. It's just, Amen. I didn't think I was giving square <laughs> body, but you know, if I'm representing then whatever. <laughs> You trying to be me? Oh, oh my gosh! I need you to post You're giving. He's giving straight. Ah, you <laughs> tried it. You tried it. Oh my gosh! Let me find out that looks better on you than me. <laughs> Happy birthday! No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait. Fresh. I like that. The jacket's real nice and lax. Don't you wish your boyfriend was <laughs> flat like me? <laughs> the shirt by itself, too. Did you see the shirt by itself? Right, it looks nice. good. Okay, muscles. It looks good. Okay. I love it. Yeah, this is a good brunch yeah. fit. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Damn. Oh, he be hitting okay. that poses. This? Yes. Okay. I could with it because it matches your scarf. The brown one? Yes. He's looking slender. Oh. <laughs> yes. Colorway. Yeah, those are Reefy's staples. The hat and the scarf. And we tied it with the Zara jeans and the top with the Doc Martens. You know, we're giving fall fits, fall looks. Nice and cozy. <laughs> oh, cute. I like this. Period. Wait to breakfast. Reefy's favorite spot. Le Paris Dakar, right? Yeah. I think this is one of the first places I remember. I don't know if we came here. Actually, no. I think it was definitely a different place. What, the other one? Oh, Brooklyn, yeah. I remember getting these lattes and they made like art on the lattes for like the first time I saw and it was like so cool to me. And then we had that conversation. Remember you recorded like the leaves, but it was like yeah, us talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one was that? That, that was, was in really, Soho, right? No, that was in Brooklyn. Oh, it was really? In a place called Brooklyn. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you knew what I was talking about. Yeah, I do. Okay. Because that was in the little music video. Yeah, yeah. oh my gosh. That was dope. I'm gonna have to insert that. Is it still on YouTube? Was it unlisted? I don't or know. Or you just sent it to me, mommy? I feel like I just sent it to you guys. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah. But we're on the way. Look at us to win him. We're giving cappuccino for real. Um, I did a little light makeup. I got some gloss on. I got some mascara. Reefy said keep it light, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm packed. I got my suitcase. So we're gonna get breakfast and then I'll be on my way home. Why was that 30 seconds I was here? But a powerful 30 seconds, if that. So we'll see you at the restaurant. Why is it the most beautiful day ever? 
giving. That lighting right there is good. Ooh, so this is the dirty chai, dirty soy chai. It is bust and every time I swear. Let me catch up. And then we got, this is a ham and Swiss melt. Oh, on a croissant. And look how cute this place is though. We just got some pictures and stuff and we just did that TikTok game where like you have to try to guess the same word. <laughs> and we kind of ate. Okay. Three, two, one, flower. Damn, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. give me a second. Tell me when you got your word. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, glasses. Hmm. Tell me when you're ready. You yeah. count down when you're ready. Three, two, one, all right. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the best? Oh my god, we just ate that. We got our Amazing. second record. Yes. That's exact yes. as everything I want. We're on our way to the train now. This part always confuses me no matter how many times I do it. Oh my god. Y'all I almost missed my stop. I wasn't even paying attention. Like I just happened to look up when it stopped. And we're at Hamilton. I swear the train rides go by so much faster now. Like an hour and a half is fucking nothing. Like I used to think it was such a long period of time, but we back in Jersey, so now I have to drive home. All right, period. Um, so I decided I'm getting Chick-fil-A even though I just ate with Reefy because I don't know, I really, really want it right now. I like literally passed, I literally passed the exit to get Chick-fil-A and I was like, no, 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 I have to wait till dinner time because then I'm just gonna fuck up my eating schedule. It's literally 3 p.m. right now. Literally passed the exit, I'm like, almost home and I was like, dude, I just need Chick-fil-A right now. <laughs> I drove all the way the fuck back. The car is rattly daddly. You hear that shit? I need to get it checked. I didn't even get to brush my teeth or wash my face this morning. Like, crusty, crusty. <laughs> we can just chill in the car before I end the vlog. I, I need to get a tripod for this. So yeah, did you guys like this vlog? Did you guys like the weekly vlog? Like, I hope it was entertaining. Cause I love watching weekly vlogs. And I hope my life was interesting to watch and entertaining to watch. I'm gonna continue it for next week to see how it goes, see how like, you know, the response is, see what people are liking. Cause I got shit to do next week. You know, I should just wear mascara more often. Cause I feel like if I'm gonna put makeup on, I might as well do a full face and I never do like just mascara, but it's kind of cute. This one eyelash on this eye is so long. Do you see that? Hi, can I have a number two deluxe, please? Sure, I want to drink with that. I'll do a Sprite. A Sprite? And then can I have Buffalo, Chick-fil-A, and Polynesian sauce, please? Sure. That's it. All right, it's going to be 890 if I have to take it to the Thank you. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. They're so sweet. Don't you just love it? Just love Chick-fil-A's energy. Period. Like, that's like the number one thing that people talk about Chick-fil-A is their customer service. Like, we need more happiness in the world. Their credit card. <laughs> ah, not me showing my numbers. Yo, I'm hype. I'm gonna skirt home. What am I gonna watch? Because I need something good to watch when I eat Chick-fil-A. But I'm so proud of myself for filming a weekly vlog. Like, I liked having my camera. Thanks. Yay. <laughs> you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Do you have a straw by any chance? That's okay. Thank you. 
Oh my god, he was feeling me. He was giving me the eyes. I'm like, hee hee. Oh my god, made me nervous. <laughs> Let me whip the fuck out of here. And this camera is not gonna stay, Lord. But your girl is thirsty as fuck. And I do not drink soda, I swear. I do not drink soda. Like, it's just not my vibe. I only drink water and Mio. It's like, I don't drink juice, but I bring I drink Mio. But the Chick-fil-A Sprite is always just a little bit flat. And it's like a treat. It really is a treat for me because it's so sugary. But it just reminds me of childhood. I love Sprite. That's the only soda I drink, if anything. Okay. But this is buzzing right now. See, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Um, I hope that, you know, I, I kept you entertained. I hope that um, you had fun hanging out with me this week. Let me know if you like this type of video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see some more because I'm trying to make a hustle out here on YouTube, so I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to do my best. <clears throat> I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start uploading Sundays. So come come back on Sunday, you know, Sunday night. See if the video is up. And yeah, I can't wait to, can you get in focus though? Can I say bye in focus? So yeah, I had a lot of fun and I can't wait to see you guys next week. And leave a comment, what was your favorite part? Like, what was your favorite day that I had? I think my favorite day was, I liked, I saw a lot of family this week. I had a lot of fun this week, honestly. So let me know your favorite part. I'm curious to know. And I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.